Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Peace Through the Word uh, devotional ministry, daily devotional ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church. Coming to you from Benson, Arizona in Cochise County, United States of America at my office. And Diana Mott, good to see you chiming in this morning as well. And all of you worldwide, no matter where you may be uh, around the world, chiming into this beautiful piece of ministry. And we, again, always thank you for it. And uh, this is our first broadcast after Christmas uh, of 2021. And so it's so good to be able to share with you and trusting that everyone that you all had a wonderful and blessed Christmas time with uh, family and friends and wherever you may be. And I uh, pray that it was a, a real blessing. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I don't know about you, but sometimes, you know, we get all excited before Christmas and then Christmas comes and then uh, then it's 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 over. And so maybe that emotional high uh, tends to fade, <laughs> you know. Uh, so this morning we're going to be looking at the subject of um, making our joy complete, complete joy. And that it doesn't fade, it doesn't go away. And so I pray that that is going to bless us and inspire us, encourage us uh, as we look at that together uh, from our devotional. And so this morning I'm going to share with you the worship setting called Matins. And I think I've kind of explained this to you before. Matins is a worship setting that the church has used over the years. Uh, and it just means mourning. It's a, it's a worship setting uh, that the church started their day with. And uh, I can't overemphasize how great it is to start your day uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I pray that, that this worship setting and our time together is going to do just that and bless you tremendously as we gather together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver us. Make haste to help us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia. <clears throat> Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. So glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So brothers and sisters, the passages of Scripture I want to share with you uh, right after Christmas. The first is Psalm 11. And uh, this psalm deals with um, the uh, uh, steadfastness of our Lord where our joy is complete, where the Lord is in his holy temple. And as a result of that, he uh, gives to us complete joy because of his grace and mercy. So I pray that this is going to bless us this morning as we listen to this passage of scripture to begin with. It says, in the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. And boy, we've seen that. 
we've seen violence. You know, just yesterday, Sunday, uh, right here at, near my church, there was a shooting right here, not, not very far away. So we see violence occur on a daily basis. And, and, so, and so does Jesus. He sees all this. Um, but the one, uh, his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the wicked. Fire and sulfur and the scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. Well, where is our complete joy in that passage? Might be difficult to see that, maybe in that particular passage. But let's take a look at 1 John chapter 1, beginning in verse 1, and uh, hear these words that, that John the Apostle writes for us. He says, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have touched with our hands, concerning the word of life which is Jesus Christ, okay? The life was made manifest, and we have seen it and testified to it and proclaimed to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. And that was made manifest to us when Jesus came to us in the flesh. God came to us in the flesh, in the person of Jesus Christ, that first Advent, that first Christmas. Um, and it says, so that which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us, and indeed our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things, why? So that our joy may be complete. So our joy is to be found in the person of Jesus Christ and nothing else. Because that... <laughs> That is where our joy will be made complete. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning. It says, while the formal celebration of Christmas may be over, the season continues for the 12 days from Christmas to Epiphany. This is a time to let the full meaning of the observance sink in. We dare not sell short the joy we know with the birth of Jesus. We can still sing joy to the world, there is no need to silence our song. If we do, our joy is not complete. Joy is complete only when it is spread from person to person. The Apostle John wrote to other Christians so that his joy would be united with that of others who understand what the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus mean. Although separated by distance and time, Christians share the joyous fellowship of the redeemed. And we need to do that. We need to do that. The joyous light continues to shine for us, our neighbors and our fellow Christians, through all time and around the globe. We continue to speak and sing about Jesus entering human history. Our joy becomes complete when it spreads from person to person as the love of Jesus fills our hearts, mouths, and hands, and as we engage with the people around us. Let us all rejoice. So my brothers and sisters, that is something that we should put into practice, and so allow me to please pray. Lord Jesus, please allow us to share the joy that we know over your birth so others may know it with us. Amen. Pray that will bless us, encourage us, strengthen us, all at the same time, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So, O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. So let me give you the benedictus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. He has raised up for us a horn of salvation in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our father Abraham 
to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people in the forgiveness of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, when the day shall dawn upon us from on high, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. So brothers and sisters, together let's pray the wonderful prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cries come to you. The Lord be with us and with our spirits. O Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, thank you so much again for joining us this morning. For peace to the word, wherever you're chiming in, pray that it has blessed you and encouraged you and inspired you all at the same time. So my brothers and sisters, it looks like we've got some rain coming in. It's kind of a cloudy day here in southern Arizona, but it's still a good day to rejoice in the blessings that our Lord gives us in abundance. So the flaps have been retracted, and I convey to you all of God's blessings in abundance and convey to you tremendous blue skies.